Hello, welcome to Gradient's weekly roundup of key news and developments in the FMCG industry in Sri Lanka for the week ending 15th October 2021. I'm Nishani Figuera. Let's look at the main stories. Organic fertilizer imports from China halted following bacteria detection. Maximum retail price removed on several items. Food and beverage imports reach 117.9 million US dollars in July 2021. Consumer confidence and business sentiment go in opposite directions. Momentum of workers' remittances in flows continue to slow down. We will also take a look at a few other developments, including movement of key industry indicators, product launches, promotions, and events. Sri Lanka cancelled a 96,000 ton shipment of organic fertilizer from China, citing the detection of harmful bacteria in samples. It was claimed that the cargo, which was ready to be shipped to Sri Lanka, was estimated at a cost of 42 million US dollars. These imports were meant to replace the now banned chemical fertilizer during the October rice cultivation season. The government relaxed the maximum retail price placed on milk powder, wheat flour, LP gas, and cement. According to State Minister of Cooperative Services, Marketing Development and Consumer Protection, Lasanta Alagewanna, the President has instructed not to allow room for unnecessarily high price hikes in the market. 117.9 million US dollars worth of food and beverages were imported into the country in July this year, down 28.9% month on month and 9.4% year on year. Vegetables amounted to 31.5 million US dollars during the month, followed by oil and fats, which were 30.2 million US dollars. Year to date imports were 1 billion US dollars, up 12.6% year on year. Imports of medical and pharmaceuticals in July breached the 100 million US dollars for the first time, up 11.1% month on month and 67.2% year on year. LMD Nielsen's Consumer Confidence Index in September 2021 remained at 28, at an all-time low levels. On job prospects, 94% are pessimistic about future job prospects. On state of personal finances, 93% consider the state of their finances will be negative in the next 12 months. On the ability to buy essentials, 98% have a negative outlook on their ability to purchase essentials in the next 12 months. LMD Nielsen's business confidence rose to 104 in September, plus 11 points month on month and 16 points minus year on year. According to Nielsen IQ's director, Consumer Insights, Terika Mianadenia, the business environment is persistently operating under dire conditions in terms of import restrictions, foreign exchange restrictions, the depreciating value of the rupee, travel restrictions, COVID-19 related shutdowns and many other challenges. Workers' remittances declined to 446 million US dollars in August 2021, a 33% drop year on year. As a result, remittances year to date decreased to 4.22 billion US dollars, down 3% year on year. It is likely that the current USD LKR exchange rate of 203 LKR per USD is compelling overseas workers to use alternative channels offering a higher rate to remit their funds into the country. Such add further pressure on Sri Lanka's balance of payments, which have been constrained by a significant reduction in tourist earnings and an increasing import bill. In other developments, inflation eased to 5.7% year-on-year in September 2021 compared to the 6% in August. Food inflation decreased to 10% year-on-year versus 11.5% in August, whilst non-food inflation grew 30 basis points to 3.8% year-on-year. Moreover, the government withdrew the maximum retail prices on rice sales and announced plans to import 100,000 tons of it. Growing of crops index was down 5.1% month-on-month. Farming of animals index was up 5.3% month-on-month. Overall manufacture of food products and beverages index was down 2.1% month-on-month. Food production index was up 3.5% month-on-month. Beverage production index was up 129% month-on-month, while the tobacco production index was up 74. 7 month on month. 
Overall, the index of industrial production was up 12.9% month on month. Here's how the beverage, food and tobacco sub index and the healthcare sub index at the Columbus Stock Exchange performed this week. Moving on to product launches, promotions and events that took place during the week. Slated as being Asia's first ever nutritional cracker, Uswata Confectionery is blended with 9 grains. The company notes that the cracker contains protein, fiber, vitamins, minerals, prebiotics, among others, and is considered as an alternative to a breakfast diet. Coinciding with the T20 Cricket World Cup, Prima launched their flagship instant food product promotion commencing on the 1st of October and running until the 30th of November. The promotion, run for the seventh year, involves consumers winning daily, weekly or monthly prizes by SMSing a code found inside each sachet of Prima Kutumi. With the chance to win a tab benefiting online education, Clogard launched Clogard Natural Salt Tab Vasana encouraging consumers to SMS a six-digit depicted inside the toothpaste pack. Sri Lanka Retail Forum 2021 was held for the fifth successful year on the 13th of October under the theme Recharging Retail – Resilience to Results. The event was organized by the Sri Lanka Retailers Association Limited. And that's a wrap for this week. Don't forget to check out our weekly business roundup published every Friday at 7.30 a.m. on LinkedIn, YouTube and our website gradientalliance.com. Until we see you again next Wednesday, stay safe.